Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Ainsley Cowl, which you can see here in front of you. This is the matching cowl for the Ainsley Beanie, which is the third beanie in the 2023 Wonderful Hats Crochet Along. So today we're going to uh, finish off the set by working this cowl. Now this is, uh, it's not an infinity cowl. When it's laid flat, it only measures about 14 inches, uh, so it's going to fit nicely around your neck, have a little bit of drape to it, and it is so super thick and very cozy. The pattern continues our textured front and back post stitches from the beanie, and it uh, just brings it into this nice neck warmer or cowl. For the tutorial today, for the pattern, you're going to need about two balls of yarn i'm using the impeccable there's about 285 yards per ball it's a worsted weight 100 percent acrylic yarn you're going to need two of these for your cowl you're also going to need a five millimeter or an h8 crochet hook and a copy of the free written instructions which can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and there's a direct link for you in the description of this video so thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around if you haven't seen the matching beanie yet. I encourage you to head on over there and check it out after learning how to make the cowl. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Now our pattern today is worked in rounds. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain foundation chain today for our cowl uh, which is about 14 inches laid flat 28 inches around so to fit a teen or an adult um, we're going to chain 108 stitches now if you would like to change the size of your cowl you're going to need a multiple of six stitches for your foundation chain so today we're going to go ahead and chain 108 Once you have 108 stitches chained, being careful not to twist your chain, so you're going to want to straighten it out, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch to make a ring. You're then ready to begin round one. For round one, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet stitch into each chain stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, including that chain three, you will have a total of 108 stitches. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. At the end of round one, you'll just want to do a quick check just to make sure that it's not twisted once again, but you're going to join uh, with your slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. You're then all set for rounds two, three, and four. So rounds two, three, and four are all going to be worked the exact same way. So you're going to start off by chaining one. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch, which is your same stitch as joining. So to work your front post double crochet, yarn over, Bring your hook in front of your work and insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again around the post of that first stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your back post double crochet, yarn over, 
bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front and around the post and out through the back again uh, around the post of the next stitch yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two more that's your back post double crochet you're then going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch you're going to repeat that all the way around front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next all the way around until you come to that first stitch at which time you can join with a slip stitch into the top of a, the first stitch and chain one you're not going to be turning your work at any time during this pattern so always working in the same direction and uh, and so on so you're going to repeat that row two, the front and back post double crochet stitches three times so this is for rounds two three and four and then meet me back here At the end of round four, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and then chain three. Once again, your chain three will count as a double crochet stitch. For round five, you're then going to double crochet into the next stitch. So not in the stitch at the base of your chain three because that chain three counts as a stitch. So just in your next stitch into the top, work a double crochet. You're then going to double crochet into each stitch all the way around until you come back to that starting chain three and join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. At the end of round five, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. and chain one. For round six, you're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around the post of each of the first three stitches. So there's one around the post of our starting chain three, then two, and three. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches. We're going to repeat that around all the way around. Work a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches followed by a back post double crochet around the posts of each of the next three stitches all the way around until you come back to that first stitch when you come back to that first stitch you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch At the end of round six, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You will have ended with uh, one back post double crochet in each of the next three stitches. For round seven, we're going to chain one. You're then going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch. Now, when I'm working this front post double crochet, I am working around the chain and the post of the stitch. Front post double crochet. Next, you're going to work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Followed by a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches.
Now beginning with that back post double crochet, we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by one front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around. Back post double crochet, followed by your two front post double crochets until you come to that first stitch. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. When you come all the way around, at the end of round seven, you're going to finish off with a front post double crochet into the around the post of your final stitch and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first. You can then chain one. For round eight, we're going to begin with a back post double crochet. We're going to work a back post double crochet around the post of each of the first three stitches. So begin by working that back post double crochet again. I'm working around the chain one and the post. There's one, two, and three. You're then going to work a front post double crochet around the post of each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around, back post, double crochet, around each of the next three stitches. Followed by a front post, double crochet, around the post of each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around until you come to your first stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round eight, you'll have finished off with one front post double crochet in each of the final three stitches and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for round, round nine, we're essentially going to repeat our round seven. So chain one, work a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next. Next, work a front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches. Beginning with the back post double crochet, you're going to repeat back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by one front post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around until you come to your final stitch are your starting stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now that's it as far as the repeats in the pattern. For the next 12 rounds, so for rounds 10 through to 21, you're going to repeat your rounds 6 through to 9 three more times. So your round 6 began with the chain 1 and then your 3 front post double crochet stitches followed by your three back post double crochet stitches. That's where you're going to start. So go ahead, repeat round six, seven, eight, and nine for a total of three more times. That will bring you to the end of round 21. And then meet me back here. Of course, you can make this cowl taller or shorter 
and uh, stop the repeat at any time. It's up to you. I worked through to the end of round 21. When you come to the end of your repeats at the end of round 21, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. We're now going to add another edging up to on the top of our cowl so that it matches the bottom down here. So we're going to start off round 22 by chaining three. This counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet into the next stitch and then double crochet into each stitch all the way around. At this time, we're just working into the tops of our stitches. When you come all the way around to that starting chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. At the end of your round 22, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three. And then finally, for your last three rounds, for rounds 23, 24, and 25, just as you did down below here, you're going to finish off with some double crochet ribbing. So you're going to chain one, work a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by your back post double crochet. Repeat that all the way around and join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're going to do that for a total of three rounds for rounds 23, 24, 25, then fasten off, weave in your ends and that is how you work your Ainsley cowl. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around, and stay tuned. Next week, we will work our fourth beanie in the Wonderful Hats Crochet Along. I look forward to seeing your finished products on social media. You can tag me at Rich Textures Crochet, and I'll be sure to come by and admire it. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.